वेलकम हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अवर ऑनलाइन सेशन अरेंज बाय गुरु नगर पालिका we will continue the last topic the vedic civilization of a part 2 let's do the study before doing it we will do a small prayer so please join your hand and sit straight all of you yes yes all of you sit straight please close your eyes my voice is audible all students my voice is clear yes yes okay so let's start father we thank thee for the night and for the pleasant morning light for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the day so fair help us to do the thing we should to be to others kind and good in all we do in work or play to grow more loving every day thank you god all of you rub your hands apply on your eyes slowly open your eyes okay feeling fresh now today's topic is standard 6 history subject vedic civilization as we studied in last last period vedic literature is in sanskrit and we also study the four vedas rigveda samveda yajur veda and atharva veda so today in this period we will going to learn the lifestyle life system of a vedic period and our day to day life economic life of vedic period political system social and religious lifestyle these all topics we will cover in this period so let's study one by one before going further let tell me how many vedas we studied in previous lesson who will tell me just for previous knowledge how many vedas we learned anyone please yes we learn rig veda yajur veda sam veda and fourth one is atharva veda we learned these four vedas in details now let's study our next topic family system yes he is a arjun he is asking you your friend are we following the same family what was the family system of that time vedic period how they were living this family system was a patriarchal means a man who control the family patriarchal means used about a society controlled by a man rather than a woman passing power property etc from father to son 
rather than mother to daughter this is the meaning of patriarchal so they lived in a joint family they follow the patriarchal family means one the head will be there man head will be there okay now the another thing in this family is grihapati so grihapati is a eldest male member in the family who exercise full authority over all members so grihapati is also a head of the family having a full authority for all family members now this in this family system in a initial period there was a reference to the women scholars such as lopu mudra gargi and maitri in vedic literature but however slowly when this restriction on women went on increasing and their position in the family and society become the secondary and hence male become a primary of that family system so we call it as a grihapati who will look after whole family so grihapati was the head of the family a main responsible for the family his family including his old parents wife and children the younger brother and their families okay have you understood children okay so let's let's continue next topic how is this so what at that time in a vedic period okay the houses the houses during the vedic period were earthen and metal dog construction can you see this this is a dog construction slope is there on the roof gatal means woven lattice of the wooden strip which is dog with the clay mixed with the cow dung so they are made, they made with the help of the cow dung some soil this all material they were using that time cement is not available so the houses was also called as the griha this houses they called as the griha or a shala a griha or a shala so this were all the houses they were constructed at that time during the vedic period now let's come towards the instrument what were the instrument they are using during the vedic musical instruments they were using so first one is mridang mridang can anyone tell me where is the mridang from this instruments who will tell me which is a mridang any student please reply hello hello you take point on that this is a mridang okay mridang like a dhol so they were using this instrument at that time so singing for playing for music they, they were using this instru musical instrument for dance this all are their hobbies their main musical instruments were veena cymbals koch this and damru mridang this were their main instrument so first one this is a mridang and cymbals this is a cymbals and where is jamru 
this is jamru and who will tell me coach and veena where is veena and coach left hand side first yes this is coach this is coach means shankh we will call in hindi or marathi shankh this is shankh and this is veena okay so this all are instruments they were using for their entertainment for their music music systems so can you tell me nowadays which music uh, which instrument we were using we are using guitar okay tabla these were all modern instruments and this was a vedic instruments okay now let's come towards the agricultural animal husbandry of the vedic period so agriculture was a main occupation during this time during vedic period many oxen were yoked together to plug the field the plug had iron plug shares so during the vedic period animal like horses cows and dogs had special importance because cows were used is a means of exchange so primary occupation is a agriculture primary occupation was agriculture at that time during the vedic period and cows were used as a means of exchange so cows having a lots of value at that time they don't have the rupees or currencies that is why cows were highly prized people took special care to ensure that the cows would not be stolen okay so the horses was valued because its speed that time there were not trains so the horses is there for uh traveling from one place to another the vedic people were skilled in tamping the horses and harnessing them to the chariot so agricultural products barley wheat rice and cotton oil seed they were cultivated in their they was cultivated at that time in their field so the occupation is a agriculture the main occupation that time so that's why from that period only india is a primary and agricultural country india having a main occupation agricultural from that time only okay students so next topic animal husbandry domestication animal other animal domesticated bull as i already told you cows were used for the means of exchange so they having a lots of important for a cows horses okay so other animal domesticated bulls oxen horses sheep goat asses and dogs okay so these were the main animal husbandry animal they were using at vedic period for their main value purposes so cows having a main importance like a rupees or currencies in today's modern age how you are how we are using the currencies and rupees in this age that age in vedic age they were using the cows for main exchanging or main trading purpose okay so cow dung was is uh, was used as a manure and it is used for making the house so main importance of cows was there in that time okay are you listening students 
Hello. Please reply. What you can see in this picture? All students, please reply. What is this? Charity. What is this? Charity. Chariot. This is chariot. Chariot means what? Chariot means what? What you can see in this picture? Have you observed this Rath? Chariot means Rath. In Mahabharata and Ramayana, we already observed this chariot, Rath. We called it in Hindi or Marathi Rath. Okay. So horses were there. An open vehicle. What is chariot? An open vehicle. An open vehicle with the two wheels that was pulled by a horses in an ancient time. So this is chariot. Okay. Chariot matlab rath hai. Jo hum log Mahabharat aur Ramayana mein dekh chuke hai TV ke upar. Okay, so in this age, we are not using this because we having a cars, we having vehicles that that time they were not using that vehicle. So they are using this chariot for a war purpose and for a traveling purpose. Okay. So chariot in the Vedic period had spoke wheels which are lighter than a solid wheel. The horses drawn and spoke wheel chariots of the Vedic period were swift and speedy. Uh, that was speedy, so that's why they are using this chariot in a war also. Okay, so let's move further. Now let's look towards the trade. So what is trade? Trade means exchange of something, exchange of money or doing for uh, doing something for money purpose. So what is a trade? In this period, apart from agricultural and animal husbandry, several other occupations had also flourished. Artisans and people practicing various occupations were an important part of the social system. So they were not indifferent to the trade and commerce. So what is the main system in this trade? The main system in this trade is barter system, means exchange of something, valuable things. So they are exchanging the cows, sheep, goats, horses okay so cow uh, was regarded as a standard value for the things was measured in the terms of cows so this is a trade okay now during vedic period there were again four varnas has been invented. So justify the social life at the Vedic age and modern age, which one is better? Now you have to justify which one is better. Four Varnas. So four Varnas we will see afterwards. Now what is there in this period? More rigidity in the hereditary. Hereditary, they gave the more importance for that. Caste decided by the birth okay so inter caste marriages was not allowed it caste system become deep rooted ruling class were brahmins and kshatriyas so let's study the four varnas can you see this triangle everyone so about three white color all are aryans and below that 
below is shudra that is non aryan so let's start from the below class from down class this is uh, from down towards up shudras shudras they they were having farmer farm workers servants and laborers and what what were vaishyas vaishyas herders farmers merchant crafts people this all are the vaishyas and what are kshatriyas means warrior means a uh, soldiers or a sainik and what are the brahmins means priest who are giving the main guidance what to do to the king for what to do how to handle the kingdom they all are the brahmans so this all are four class from brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras <clears throat> so during this period there were four varnas varnas that is brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras the varna was determined by the occupation of the people so what were the occupation of the people that was their varna in the later period the varna came to determining on the basis of their birth so in which class we birth so that is our varna this gave rise to the caste system and lead to the inequality in the society okay so they are using this four varnas in vedic periods now what were the main duties or a main occupation of this varnas let's we see first brahmins the priest who perform the religious rituals second one is kshatriyas the warriors who were <clears throat> considered brave and strong and were responsible for protection of the people that means soldiers or a sainik what were vaishyas vaishyas those who look after the agriculture industries and commerce and what were shudras those who are serve the upper classes this all are the shudras so this all are the caste system and their main occupation now as we all are having a schools in this period in a modern age so in that age there were a gurukul system gurukul system of education so what were they doing in that system as the first ashrama was the brahmacharya ashrama but there there were four ashramas first first ashram was a brahmacharya in this period staying with the guru to learn from him so this is a brahmacharya period we have to stay with the guru for to take the knowledge and the second the second stage is grihastrashrama grihastha shrama means we have to do the uh, we have to accept the main values or duties towards our family and society and the third stage is varna shrama varna pratha shrama this was uh, when a man when a man accepted to dip himself from the household retire to the solitary place and a lead to a very simple life means we have to lead a, uh, we have to leave our family or with our family we have to leave a very simple life now fourth stage was a sanyashrama in this stage what we have to do, uh, do the lead life in other to understand the meaning of human life and not stay in a one place 
सो दिस ऑल आर द फोर श्रमा एंड दिस वॉज गुरुकुल सिस्टम वॉज द फर्स्ट श्रमा इन दिस गुरुकुल सिस्टम द एंट्रेंस ऑफ द गुरुकुल एट द एज ऑफ द सेवन दे रिसीव द एजुकेशन टिल ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स डीप इन द फॉरेस्ट स्टूडेंट लाइक गुरु गुरु चिल्ड्रन एंड गुरु इज अ स्पिरिचुअल फादर सो दिस ऑल आर द थिंग्स दैट टाइम दे वर यूजिंग to cleaning the houses drew water gather wood worked in the field oral method of teaching and learning was there guru dakshina according to the means of women not allowed to receive the education now king now what are the political system all powers were there for the king kingship is a hereditary means from the from king to their children sabha and samiti lost the importance at that time now size of the kingdom increase more official in the charge more part now let's study the vedic gods yes what arjun is saying look at the picture you will get the idea what were the vedic gods indra is a indra indra is a primary warrior god agni fire they to ritual and surya the sun one of the several elemental god this all were the this is a yagna as we learned in a yajur veda this is yagna so summary what we learned in last period and today's period let's revise what we learned there were four vedas written in a sanskrit language and what were the four vedas rigveda yajur veda samveda and atharva veda so rigveda stands for the praise to the god yajur veda means mantra uttering during yagna what were samveda or uh, samveda sorry for guidance of singing a song and atharva veda related to the day to day life <clears throat> joint family system was the preva- prevalent at that time and grihapati was the head of the family cotton and wooden garments used as a clothes women used gold flower garlands nik- nashka Vina crimbles, jamru, mridanga used in the playing music during this period. Four varnas, Brahman, Chatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. These were the four varnas. They were using at that time. So, what were what were the key terms? We learn veda rigveda samveda yajur veda atharva veda upanishad means a teacher and yojana varna okay now let's take your homework what is your homework what you have to do today and let's also solve some question and answer also are you ready yes now take your assignment let's do the this home activity compare the vedic age and modern age with the following points what you have to do you have to compare this vedic age and modern age so by distinguish between or in any differentiate between you have to uh, in any system or a, uh, writing two two points for each economic system religious life political system transfer system family system you have to write only two points for each system for this modern age and vedic age you have to compare that age with our age as we learned all these points okay only two points you have to write now let's do the textual questions who will read the first question anyone anyone of you please read the first question students 
May I read, teacher? Name the name yes. the read name the following with reference to the lesson. Yes, read the first name. The first woman scholar is Vedic literature. Yes. Anyone give answer, or you can give answer. Women scholars in Vedic literature. What we called women in that time, before Vedic literature, or at the end of the Vedic literature, we called Loka Mudra, Kargi, Kargi, Vedic. And next one, Maitri. Maitri. Yes, Lok Mudra, Gargi, and Maitri. These all three Achoo. names were called. Now, anyone, please read the second one. Second question. This one. Means of entertainment in Veda period. Answer. Vedic period. Yes. Answer. Okay. Singing, playing, musical yes. instrument, dance, yes. dance, board yes. games, 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 and chariot, chariot race, race, and hunting. Hunting, good. Now, next, right or wrong? Please read the first right or wrong. Who will read the question and answer? Hello, is it? It is easy, beta. Please read. Rigveda mantra. Read. Yes. Rigveda Veda mantras and dress during during yoga. Yoga. Yes. Yes. It is wrong. Yes. Next. 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 Sam Veda. Yes. Dance. Guidance on guidance on singing or mantras doing yagna restraint. Right. Yes. Answer, Answer right. Yes. Very good. Third, Third one. Question eight. Tarava Veda. Tarava Veda. The mm -hmm. Veda derived its name from other Veda Rishi. Rishi. Yes, Atharva Rishi. Okay. Answer very right. Good. Very good, very good. So, dear children, have you understood this topic? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. So, goodbye, everyone. Take care.